What is going on guys? It's your boy Dylan and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Today we have the last part for the solo by Juju guides. So this is the Hunter. Before that we did the Warlock and then the Titan. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, get me into breaking down what I am using. So as for the weapons, we're going to be using the exact same as the other two characters. I've got Breakneck, which is a Gambit Pinnacle weapon. I've got Fighting Lion, just because it's really good. I've also got another grenade launcher because it has spike grenades on, which deals a hell of a lot more damage on direct hits. And also grenade launchers, you know, in terms of DPS, are probably, you know, one of the best um, weapons in the game as of right now. Then for the subclass, I'm using Golden Gun Bottom Tree because we are going to be using an exotic armor piece called the Celestial Nighthawk, which buffs our Golden Gun damage, but we only get one shot. So we have to make that shot count if we miss then I mean we've lost, we've just wasted our super. I'm using triple jump, maximum's dodge, so we can dodge to automatically reload our heavy, and I've also got swarm grenades on there as well. Um, Hunter, in my personal opinion, is probably going to be the hardest character out of all three. Um, I managed to do it flawlessly um, on my walk and my titan. I'll see if I can do it on my Hunter as well, but I don't really play Hunter, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I mean, pretty much all my time in this game is spent on my Warlock and then I play a little bit of Titan and then I pretty much don't touch my Hunter, so <laughs> yeah. So we just picked up a Rally, bar uh, rally Banner um, there, the Rally to the Flag sort of thing, so we refill all our ammo. If you're wondering where to get those from, visit the Dreaming City, go to Pet's Revenge and she sells them, I think it's for Legendary Shards and they are also pretty cheap, so help yourself to those. What we're going to do is just lure all these thrall towards us and that's them done now in this first room there is a shrieker top mid what we're going to do is get the shrieker dead first which should take two shots of our grenade launcher to kill it and then we'll pop our super get the knight that spawns bottom mid um, and yeah then we'll just slowly work on the adds with our fighting lion and all that sort of stuff so it's going to go over here boom boom that should be the shrieker dead Run back to this doorway over here. Uh, get the knight. That's him dead. We're just going to keep back pedaling here. Just so we're safe. And we're just going to use our fighting lion to get rid of some of these scions. And when these come towards you, you can throw your grenade at the doorway. Keep back pedaling a little bit if you want to. Um, and yeah. Slowly work in, use the fighting line to clear some of these guys up um, as it's really good at just you know blowing multiples off them up whilst they're duplicating. Um, and then that's the first room done. Gather any orbs or heavy ammo or any other ammo that there may be um, on the floor and then drop down the hole and proceed. So this is a little jumping part, be very careful on this. So we're going to proceed to jump onto the cleaver. I'm going to get onto his forearm. I'm going to jump up onto his face. Then I like to jump onto his booby. Now for the hunter, I'm not going to risk that jump. I'm going to go over onto this forearm and then work my way up that way as it's a lot safer. Now, as soon as we get up here, there will be a phalanx. Run forward and then kill him because if you stand still, he's going to boop you right off the edge of the map. So just do um, be careful about that. There he is. We can use our grenade to get rid of him very quickly. And then all we're going to do here is just use our fighting lion to get rid of some of these enemies. Unfortunately, because we're a hunter, we don't have the added benefit of the slapping a rift down with Lunar Faction boots or a rally barricade. So we just have to... Uh, kind of be a little bit more careful with what we're doing shouldn't be too bad though it's usually pretty easy so at least this is an easy part within the mission the harder parts are coming up next so again for this bit a wizard will spawn at the end alongside two phalanxes the wizard will also spawn shadow thrall there's a couple of snipers on the platforms out here there's two over here and there's like one over there somewhere um just so you know roughly what you're getting yourself into as soon as you drop down get rid of the phalanxes straight away that should be your first priority get your fighting lion out or any void weapon remove the wizard's shield 
and then continue to work on the phalanxes. Whatever you do, do not let the phalanxes get towards you. Kill the snipers to the left when they're stood next to each other. And then proceed just to continue taking her shield off. And that's her dead. Then we're going to move forward, kill the last sniper to the right, and that is this bridge clear. And continue moving forward. So, when you get into this room, stand on this platform here. There will be a phalanx on this platform over here. So we're going to blow him up, get rid of him, get rid of the hobgoblin, and then we can proceed and jump over to the other side. Now for this bit, it can be a little bit tricky. We're going to want to kill these enemies over here. Use your grenades as well. Get rid of them. The Minotaur can deal a fair bit of damage also, so if you do need to move cover and get out of the way slightly, do so. I think, is it one more? No, another one. It keeps teleporting. Every time I shoot, he teleports. Right, that's it. There we go. Finally dead. And on the other side, there's a Hobgoblin and then a Phalanx. Quickly get rid of them. The only thing left now is a Shrieker. So what we're going to do, walk forward behind this bit of cover. Then we're going to jump down there behind that bit of cover. Then once we're here, wait for that thing to blow up. As soon as that's blown up, run to here. The Shrieker is there. Walk back a little bit. Jump. Shoot your grenade launcher at the Shrieker. Two usually does it if you hit them directly. If not, maybe three, maybe four, depending on how accurate you are with it. And then continue moving forward. Now for this bit, I'm actually going to be using my super. There will be a captain that spawns straight in the middle um, as we are looking forward. So we're just going to pop it and get rid of him straight away. If we're not getting booped around everywhere, that's him dead. We'll use our grenade as well to get rid of some of these thrall. The thing that is good about the hunter, however, is that you can just keep sort of jumping around um, when enemies are, are actually below you. So it's a pretty decent class, but again, uh, it just doesn't have the added benefit of just being able to automatically reload, you know, infinitely reload weapons for like, an insane burst DPS. Now, follow my every step in this room. Um, there is four blights in this room. We have to destroy all four of them. When we destroy two, um, four minotaurs will spawn. We're going to have to kill all four of those minotaurs, and then we can proceed to destroying the last two blights. Each blight spawns three shadow dogs, so the more blights you destroy, the less dogs spawn. And then once we've destroyed all four, an ogre will spawn in the middle of the map. We have to kill him. He's a mini boss. As soon as we've killed him, three wizards will spawn. Kill the three wizards, and then we can proceed onto the next area. So what we're going to do is go to the right hand side first and we're going to go around this corner here and get this one in this close corner. Throw a grenade on the floor to get some of the dogs as they enter. Just keep jumping on your hunter as well, um, you know, they shouldn't really be able to get you too much. If you feel uncomfortable at any point, just quickly, you know, jump up somewhere high like this. And then whilst you're up here, they can't get you, as you can see. So this next blight over here, we're going to jump on this rock. And um, we can shoot the blight from up there. So get up onto this ledge here. And then we can shoot this blight. And the dogs can't hit us whilst we're up here. And I just fell off. Like an idiot. There we go. There's like a little sweet spot up here, like where you can shoot the blight from, so you might have to nudge forward a little bit, but as soon as you're up here, it is pretty safe. Now, these guys, there's four of these in total, so we're just going to get rid of these as quickly as possible. That's one of them dead. I just missed. You don't have to stay up here as well if you don't want to, you can move around. I'm just doing it just because. And the other two are coming after us, which is good. Saves me running around the map like an idiot trying to search for them all. And that's all four of the Minotaurs dead. Now as soon as all four of those are dead, 
There is six dogs that can spawn still, but obviously because there's two blights left. So we're going to go to this one first in this far corner where this sort of like doorway is. And we're going to just go straight in, not really with a care in the world. Just keep hopping around and trying to deal damage to it. When the dogs spawn, you can run in and out of the blight. Don't feel like you have to stand in there and take damage from them if you don't want to. As soon as that is dead, I'm going to go to this last blight over here. But what we're going to do first, get rid of the dogs for now. So there's only three that can spawn in total, rather than the six. See, there's only three dogs now, and that is the only ones that can spawn. So, as soon as we destroy this blight, they will not be able to spawn anymore. So what we're going to do, jump on here. And try and quickly get rid of the blight. Now, as soon as you've done that, drop down get rid of these dogs. If they die automatically like they just did, then, I mean, you don't have to worry. Get your grenade launcher out. Pop your celestial nighthawk. Shoot the ogre in the face. Get your grenade launcher. And that's him dead. Now there's three wizards. So you can use whatever you want on these. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to use my fighting lion. As I don't really want to be wasting heavy ammo at this point. So, if you've got the dogs chasing you, just keep jumping. There's nothing really much that they can do, to be honest. And that is the wizard's dead. Now, what we do is we jump up through here. And continue. So, that was pretty easy, to be honest. I didn't realise the Celestial did that much damage. Um, so, I mean, hey-ho, it's uh, pretty... <laughs> pretty decent to be fair now this is probably i'd say the room that we've just done in my opinion can be the hardest if you don't really know how to execute it properly this one can be quite frustrating as well because of the quantity of enemies that there is take your time and there's no rush to clear this room whatsoever just take it easy slowly work your way through it one thing I will recommend is getting rid of the Vandal Snipers that are up on these ledges. So to do that, I have to jump up here. You can get this one out of the way first if you want to. And then you can run to the other side, jump up onto this one, and then do the exact same with this guy up here. If you don't miss like I just did, like an absolute idiot. And yeah, just start slowly working through all these enemies here. Again, no rush whatsoever. Take your time. Now, in this room, if any heavy ammo drops, pick it up. Also, you're going to want to get your super and save it. Do not waste your super. Make sure you've got it, because in this room, there is also another boss that we need to kill. So... And obviously, the Celestial Nighthawk will pretty much tank him very quickly. So what we're going to do, once you got rid of a fair few of those, just could drop back down, lure all the thrall to us, get rid of them. As soon as all the thrall are dead, then that is, you know, we can move forward basically. Going to get rid of this guy. Just going to keep pegging him in the face with this. Don't waste your heavy. So more heavy ammo there. So we're max on heavy ammo now, which is great. That's exactly what we want. Just so we've got more than enough ammo for the boss. I'm gonna throw a grenade there for those. And then I'm gonna blow these ones up. There's a wizard here. We're just gonna get rid of her. Um, but again, I don't have any thumbs, so I'm just going to keep missing my shots. These guys are just going to keep pushing. Just get rid of those. And there you go. Now, as soon as all of them are dead, we're going to go up here onto these stairs. This is where we're going to pretty much be sitting throughout this entire um, fight. Now the Thrall will jump up straight top mid, you can use your Breakneck or whatever other primary you may have, maybe you got a weapon with Firefly or 
out or rampage, whatever. Um, we're just going to try and kill as many of these as possible. As they get closer, I like to switch to my breakneck just so I don't blow myself up with my own grenade launcher. As I have done that plenty of times in the past in strikes. As soon as that is all I'm dead, this is the one that can be quite hard. This is the one with the boss, so do uh, be prepared for that. So get rid of the phalanxes first. There's one there and there's one here. Now as soon as we get a clear shot on the boss, we're going to use our super. We're not going to use it yet, obviously because we can't really see him properly at the moment. But until then, we're just going to keep blowing up a fair few enemies. And we'll lure them all up here. So the boss is coming now, what we're going to do, pop our super, shoot him in the face, proceed to run forward, and use our grenade launcher, dodge if you need to, to reload, and as soon as he is dead, we're going to run to these stairs over here, and hide. So we're just going to wait for now, keep killing all these enemies until they despawn. So there, the enemies have despawned, proceed through the blight, and that is how you solo the mission on a hunter. That is all three characters done. I have a warlock guide, a titan guide, and now a hunter guide. If you know, if you want to do it on every single character, then please feel free to you know look up the relative guide. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully this helps you get your bad juju, and uh, yeah, peace.